What's happening, everybody? Welcome to episode 130 of the Games and Graps podcast. My name is Sonny G, and I'm here, as always, with Finn Steele. Hello. And Steve. Hello. And we made it to week number five. Is this the fifth year, fifth week of the year as well? It is, isn't it? So we've managed Pretty to much. do one every week. Yeah. 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 Do it. I'm going to one. It's our year. Five times. It. Yeah. Five, five times. Da 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 <laughs> Booker T didn't respond to uh, the tweet that I sent to him yesterday. No, no, oh, rude. Yeah. Well, he was. Um, was well, it was an. It was an ask book. He was like doing a Twitter Q and A, um, and all I asked was if he was still after Hulk, Hulk Hogan. Yeah. Oh, I saw that. <laughs> yeah. And he didn't respond. No. Mm, I wonder why. Hmm. Goddamn Booker T. <laughs> God damn uh, curse you, Booker. Um, <laughs> right. So yeah, we're we're on a roll at the minute, guys. It's uh, it's all going pretty well. Um, it is. We're excited. We're excited to be here. We're excited to be recording every week. We're having a blast with it. Uh, we hope you guys at home are enjoying listening or watching the podcast uh, because we are now available in multiple formats, which is a wonderful thing. Now we just need to keep our consistency, and we'll be all good. Yeah, we're doing it. We're everywhere. You can't escape us. No, that's it. We are literally going to be everywhere. So um, a little bit of housekeeping before we sort of crack on with the regular scheduled programming. (laughs) I just want to thank everybody who tuned into the pre-show before the pre-show last week on uh, Facebook for the Raw Rumble. Uh, It was on our Facebook and also the Powered 4 TV Facebook as well. And we really appreciate everybody who came along. Uh, We had an absolute blast doing it and we look forward to doing more, starting with NXT uh, Takeover Vengeance Day on February the fourteenth, which is a week on Sunday. Yeah, it is. Yeah, the yeah, so, really uh, good, really good fun on uh, on Sunday doing that before the yeah. uh, before the Royal Rumble. It's really good. Awesome. Yeah, it was uh, it was a lot of fun, and uh, we look forward to doing more. It's going to be uh, mm. yeah, it's just it's good to to just you know keep us keep us out there, keep us keep us moving, you know, keep keep our faces and voices just you know just just amongst the internet podcasts that are out there we're the best but you know all the other ones are there as well but we're the best one so we're just keeping our voices and our faces out there for um, all of you wonderful people and we really appreciate your continued support thank yes. you very much yeah so we've got a lot to get through this week if we feel like it's a big podcast there was a heap of wrestling this past week and it's games of the month time all the joys and of course we've got <laughs> the next round of the uh, games and graps eliminator to get through as well but of course before we uh, before we do that we uh, need to talk about the games that we've been playing this week so finn i shall start with you what have you been playing this week hello i haven't played a whole lot this week but this been a- why are you saying hello <laughs> <laughs> i don't know it's, it's automatic Hello. I'm still here. <laughs> yeah, still here. He's, like, he's uh, already done his intro, but now he's saying hello again. Hello. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't been a whole lot this week. It's been a, it's been a fatty week of baffing about. Um, yeah, so I've been playing. I started Ori and the Will of the Wisps, which is excellent. It is excellent. Uh, what do you think? Are you have? Are you? Uh, is it everything you wanted and more? Uh, yeah, it's great. It looks amazing. Um, it's you know plays amazing. Does most like the first one. I haven't got super far into it just yet. Um, but I will, am finally able to play it on my TV. It took a lot, lot of time and effort to try and make it work as good as I can. But it finally works. I'm playing it in uh, uh, 120 hertz, so 120 frames a second, which is very nice. Nice, okay. It's super smooth. Um, so that's cool. Um, and that's about it, really. I haven't played a whole lot else this week. It's just, uh, yeah, that, I guess. What have you been doing? I don't know. Working. <laughs> 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 Working and trying to fix my computer so it works on my tv right okay and Super you engineered it like a genius and you managed to play one game <laughs> yeah let's play one game um uh, trying to think yeah that's really about it it's a good game though hell of a game yeah well yeah there is that though i mean it's a great game yeah no doubt <laughs> yeah. about it great game um it's... glad you're enjoying it are you gonna sort of stick with it stick it out yeah absolutely i'm gonna play through it all um i'd like to get all the achievements um but i will or not i don't know i'm gonna play through it casually first time around and see what happens mm-hmm. go from there Fair enough. Yeah. So Finn's played one game this week. Steve, what about you? I haven't played a lot either this week. It's been a bit of a strange week. This week's been a, a blur uh, between uh, 400 hours of wrestling 
<laughs> football, not feeling very well. I've not played a huge amount, not on my Xbox anyway. I'll come on to that, um, mm. a bit more into that. So, uh, I dipped into FIFA a little bit and I finished off the final couple of hours of the, the free trial that I had of UFC 4. Okay, uh, got my ass kicked in a championship match, so I'm not the champion, and now the trial's run out. So I'll just have to wait for the full game to come onto Game Pass before. Well, you I, lost uh, the at least you lost the championship at the right time. Yeah, yeah. There's like literally, literally seven minutes left of the trial, and I thought nah, I'm going to do it now. So Probably that's not. pretty much it from a from an Xbox point of view. But uh, I'm now the owner of a Nintendo Switch Lite. Hey. Oh yeah, yeah. Nice. So. Uh, I bought Animal Crossing and Mario Kart 8 because <laughs> goodbye life. You? Yeah, that's an- another so. sale for Nintendo Mario Kart 8. Yeah, so <laughs> been playing. Yeah, that's been right. Playing you're, you're, you're the you're the people keeping that going. You're the you're the reason yeah. that it's uh, it's sold. <laughs> Everyone on planet Earth has a Nintendo Switch now, but people still keep buying them and Mario Kart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes. So I've been playing, been playing those, and, and to be fair, so is uh, so is the whole family, apart from the the youngest one because you know he's only two. But uh, <laughs> yeah. the whole family's oh, been playing it. Claire's been playing. Uh, she started Animal Crossing. She she loved it. She was on it for hours. Uh, Dakota absolutely loves playing uh, Mario Kart or Mario, as she says, because she watches Mario. too much American TV nah. <laughs> or YouTube <laughs> Kids at least. Um, so yeah, fun, brilliant. Uh, it was. It's just nice to be able to. Pick it up, turn it on, play, put it back down when the battery runs out, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I mean, the, the Switch is it's, it's such a great console. It really mm. is. I mean, it is one of those things where, you know, if, you, if you're watching something on TV, but it's not quite grabbing your attention and you do still want to play some games, you could just pick it up and, yeah. you know, play away while still semi-paying attention to the TV. It's, uh, it, it's really cool like that. I mean, Animal Crossing will suck the hours out of your life mm. yeah yep. yeah i was quite surprised i didn't think it'd be my sort of thing and then before i know it it's like oh shit i've been on this for four hours and uh, i need to <laughs> yeah. go to bed so I can yeah it's a weird exactly where you're coming from it is it's a weird, weird because, game like that yeah, yeah. Gotta it's really you're not really doing an awful lot you're just mm. weeding and talking to like wild creatures really yeah. like just wildlife yeah, it is strange. That, that's exactly what Kaya said to me. She was about an hour in, and she was like, "So, is this all this game is? Is this all I'm going to be doing?" I went, "Pretty much, yeah." Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. And then about an hour late, hour or two later, I, I went, went up to bed, and then uh, I woke up, and I didn't know she'd come to bed, and all of that sort of thing. So she was still playing it downstairs, despite <laughs> despite a couple of hours earlier saying, "Well, is this it?" But that was obviously enough to keep her entertained. So that's it. It is it's super addictive as well. Like even though you are only, mm. it doesn't feel like you're doing much of anything, but it is ridiculously addictive. Um, but it's a great game, and Nintendo, to be honest, have really, you know, released a winner there because, oh, you know, yeah. all of last year when lockdown started, I, I feel like every man and his dog bought Animal Crossing and a Switch because yep. the you know word of mouth caught on. Everyone started to be intrigued by it and you know that really worked for them and i mean i think i saw that it's just sold an absolutely ridiculous amount i think it was like 31 million copies mm. of animal crossing or something it was yeah, it was man. something crazy like that i mean wow i mean not many games sell that is it 11 million in its first week or first weekend or something like that I'm yeah it was something well. stupid yeah yeah, yeah that's, that's crazy crazy amount of games yeah, yeah, that, it is. that's it's pretty nuts, much and... it. That's pretty much it from me in terms of in terms of games. Uh, I need to get back into Ori. I want to finish it. I don't want it to just be sat there and and, and doing nothing um, mm. before I ha- before I get my teeth into another game. I've downloaded Resident Evil Remaster. Uh, to no. want to get into that, but I want. Oh, to it's from it's on Game Pass, isn't it now? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it was on. Uh, it was, I think it was on Games with Gold this month. So uh, yes, it is. Yeah. Games with Gold, whatever it's called, and awesome game. Yeah, I, w- I want to get back into something that I can get my teeth into, but I want to finish Ori first. Fair enough. Um, I've not been playing a great deal this week, to be honest. I've been playing... um, uh, I just feel like like you, this week has just flown by like so Mm. quickly that I've not really been or had time to do anything other than sit down. I mean, the Royal Rumble... Like we stayed up to watch the War Rumble, and then foolishly, you know, I had work the next day, so uh, that walloped me. But me and Kay were sort of like sleeping by half eight, 
you know, that on the Monday, we were just like, you know what, fuck this, let's go to bed. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, I just felt the same sort of all week. I've not really had, I don't feel like I've played much of anything. Like, I can't mm. think of anything that I have played. I, know, I, I did play um, Destruction All Stars, that much I do remember. Oh, yeah. Uh, which is one of the PlayStation Plus games this month um, uh, for PS5. And I really like it. Um, I think it's really good. It's um, it's it's basically it's it's cool because it's on on foot and like in vehicles. Yeah, the and there's right. a, a lot of different things to it, and I really like it. I can't explain it much more than that. It's like it's like Rocket League meets Destruction Derby uh, meets just sort of running about and collecting stuff. It's a really cool game. The one thing that was annoying, which they now have patched, is. Like when you jumped into a multiplayer lobby, all of the chat came through the controller. Oh god! Oh dear! And it was like, why is this a thing? What? Why has that happened? Why have they made that? Put that into the game? But they have patched it out now because everyone complained about it because it was uh, stupid, for lack of a better term. Because obviously, the PlayStation controller has a, a built-in like speaker. Mm. Yeah. I mean, this best. doesn't happen with all multiplayer games. Like if you jumped into a COD lobby. The, the chat wouldn't come through the speaker. Yeah. But for some reason, this game did have that, and there was no option to mute all unless you went out of the game, muted the chat, and then went back in. But you had to do that every single match. Yeah, it didn't help that the controller also didn't put in on it. So just everyone, I think it's on by default as well. So everyone just speaks into it and like without even really knowing that it's on sometimes. Um, yeah, I had to turn mine yeah. off because I was like, I was laughing at something and. Um, I realized that my mic was on, and I was like, yeah. Oh, shit. okay, so that's like just turn my mic off. It's, it's such a stupid thing, um, to be defaulted into a game. I just don't I don't get why they did it, but I, ha- I am glad they've patched it out. Yes, good. Mm-hmm. I have it downloaded on my PS5, I haven't had a chance to play it yet, but I will at some point. It does look really fun from what I've seen so far. Mm. Yeah, it is, uh, it's, it's, it's really good fun, and uh, definitely, I mean, while it's free, you know, you may as well check it out because it's uh, yeah. it's a good it's a good fun game, and you it's literally cost you the price of your PlayStation Plus subscription, so definitely worth yeah. checking out. Uh, but otherwise, I've not really played an awful lot. I checked out God of War because that's had a PlayStation 5 patch update, nice, and uh, looks good. and runs good. Great in 4K 60 FPS, looks really good. And I also checked out the PlayStation 5 update for the Division 2 as well, which also looks and runs great on PlayStation 5. Awesome. Cool. Uh, I've downloaded Control, um, like the PS5 version. I do intend to play through it, but I just haven't had a chance yet. So, um, yeah, that and I re-signed my contract with All American Wrestling on Wrestling Empire. Um they wanted to change my gimmick, so now I like wear literally what Roddy Piper wears. <laughs> <laughs> so like I was like wearing blue pants with uh, boots and so I look like Timothy Thatcher. And then in backstage segments, I'm wearing a kilt and a white t-shirt. So, um, <laughs> but if you tell them no, they're like, "Well, you don't have a choice anyway. You've changed. This is it. This is what you're wearing now." So, <laughs> yeah, so this. Yeah, yeah. Are you Sonny McGarner now? No, no, I'm not. I'm, um, oh, I, I can't remember what I, I'm like, I'm you in something. I, I, cha- I was Sonny G, and then, like, the guy was like, like, this is what we want you to be now. So, um, yeah, they changed my name, and I had no choice in it. I like that. I think that's a really, really cool feature to put into a wrestling game. Yeah. Because yeah. it happens in real life. So, yeah, that's really cool. It's really cool that that happens. Yeah, and I, I am like that the screenshot that you put as well. Oh, Chris Benoit is uh, dis- disappointed that Uranus has left. Uh, Uranus, <laughs> of course, would be Saturn. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Chris Benoit would be name redacted. Yes, of course. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Never, he never happened. He was a, never, yeah. never a real thing. But yeah, so it's a really, I, 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 you know, now you've got a switch, Steve, definitely check it out. And you should check it out yes. as well. Finn. It's really, really yeah. good. And yeah. um, it's just so random. I mean, I'm the United States champion of all American wrestling, but I, I want to be the heavyweight champion, but they won't sort of bump me up the card. I'm just sort of forever the United States champion. Um, so I, I only signed a nine week contract. So once this is done, I think I'm going to move on and uh, hopefully go for heavyweight championships and different promotions. Cool. You're the, you're the Bobby Lashley of uh, all American wrestling. I am. Yeah. 
I am I am the Bobby Ra- Bobby Lashley of all American wrestling. <laughs> yeah. Forever in the mid card, like carry in the mid card. And like yeah. it even comes up like when you finish a match, like because you get like uh, status updates and it says um like whatever my character's name is is uh limited by the restraints of all American wrestling. Oof. It's like there's no restraints, just bump me up the card. That was part of the contract that I signed that I wanted to be yeah, because you get to pick your clauses and stuff in your contract, mm. and I wanted to be the champion. So is what it is, I suppose. You'll have to leave them. So I'm going to have to, yeah. Well, if they don't offer me a better contract or if I don't challenge for the World Heavyweight Championship against, I think it's Ma- I think Macho Man or their version of Macho Man is the champion at the minute. So unless I'm right up there with the Macho Man, I don't, I'm, I'm going to leave. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's pretty much it. I mean, I've not really, like I said, I've not really had much time. I've not really, I've not even jumped into mm. Mario 64 this week either. I've just been, I feel like just time is, has really has been, sucked up by nothing this week and now here we are recording again so yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah but there is stuff that i'm going to sink my teeth into probably a bit later today uh me and Kay usually sort of have chilled weekends at the minute because there's not really an awful lot else we can do so she plays the sims on the laptop and then i sort of uh, jump on the consoles and stuff so yeah hopefully this weekend i'll be able to get a bit more gaming in cool cool so it is the first podcast of the month and you know yeah. exactly what that means. We but. get to go through the games of the month. Yeah. Yes. Let's and do all it. Right. Finn, where have you had the list from this month? Um, it's from releases.com, which I think is a new website. Um, they used last week as well. Last month. Right. Done. That sounds uh, pretty legit. So yeah. if they can't get it right and that's the name of their website, then <laughs> there's something desperately wrong. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, it's quite a niche website, isn't it? It's releases dot com yeah so, release it yeah. is that just games or is that like everything like films uh, and um he's got movies and cinemas and blu-ray and Ooh. dvd and, yeah oh so yeah. They're, they're covering a shitload of a shitload of ground like all the ground yeah. exactly yeah all Literally. the ground all the ground yeah no, it's on the us mode okay it's the uk there we go uh right so there's a lot of crap on here uh, so I'm trying to skip, skip through it oh, on you, shot. you yeah you do surprise me finn <laughs> you really do surprise me yeah I thought yeah, it was going to be a, a hard-hitting month of, you know, big games. <laughs> yeah. Mm. A lot of yeah. Big garbage. Um, right. So Can't we'll start wait. with uh, games that are audio. came out on the second. Uh, yeah, of course, Control Ultimate Edition came out on PS5. Yep. I can't wait to see it, actually. I'm really looking forward to playing it. I mean, the ray tracing yeah. is supposed to look amazing. So I can't wait yeah. for that. I think there's some good, uh, like, control stuff. Not control stuff, but, you know, like, the control, like, all sense uh, stuff with, like, the rumble and the triggers and stuff. Yeah. Mm. So there's a there's good control stuff for yeah. control. <laughs> yeah, makes All sense. Right. Like it. <laughs> of course, we had the uh, all stars. It's just been talking about. Yep. Good Very stuff. Cool. Check that out. It's free if you have PlayStation yeah. Plus, I guess. Absolutely. Um, you have a game called Nuts. <laughs> yeah. Good. A, uh, a single Mia player Yim is the uh, the star of that game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, You'll need to go back to last week's podcast for that reference. Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's a single player surveillance mystery. Record the squirrels, report your findings, and piece together what's really going on in Melton of the Forest. It's sort of like a mystery right. game. Yeah. It's sort of like a mystery okay. game start by recording, like taking pictures of squirrels, and then it kind of elevates from there, I guess. What a weird game. Like, who's yeah. thought of that? <laughs> I don't know. But it sounds pretty nuts. Come on. Oh, I do. Hold on. Yeah, uh, you should be like well in there with that. Yeah. I don't know, but it sounds pretty nuts. There we go. Yeah. Got... <laughs> yeah. Uh, so then we have a game called uh, Haven. <laughs> uh, Haven is an adventure RPG about everyday love, rebelling against the rules and also food. All right. You play, as... <laughs> you play as two lovers who escaped to a lost planet. The only thing that matters to them is to stay together. You're able to play it solo or with a special someone. So solo for me then. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Finn. Uh, Yeah, it's like a cool looking. I I think I saw a trailer for that. Is that on PlayStation? Uh, Yeah, PS4, PS5, Switch, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X. Cool. Everything then. Yeah, I don't know. Looks decent. Cool. Yeah. Cool. The board's been up on myself. Um. What else we got? Uh, let's skip through a lot of garbage here. Um, so much garbage. Holy shit. 
Um, oh, okay. It's a game called uh, Pacer, which is already out on, I think, PS4 and PC. Coming out on Xbox One. Um, it's sort of basically Wipeout. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. It's literally just Wipeout, but I knew it looks very pretty. Um, Wipeout, so, yeah. man. What a game. Mm. Yeah. Very cool. Hell of a game. Basically, Hell of a game. Great PlayStation. on PlayStation VR as well. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Yeah, Did you play that, Finn? Wipeout. Uh, what, the VR Wipeout, yeah. Yeah. Really, really cool. That's really, really cool. Um, yeah, it's that's a, that's really cool. But yeah, that's that's great. Uh, Wipeout clones, are, they always seem to be pretty good, actually. Uh, there's not many bad Wipeout clones. There's a good one on Switch. I can't remember what it's called, but um, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, but Wipeout clones are cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you miss Wipeout, go check that out. Yeah, looks very cool. Um, here we have a game called Grey Skies, A War of the World Story. Uh, based on the great work of H.G. Wells, explore the English countryside and encounter iconic concepts such as black smoke, uh, red weed, mm, I know, and of course the almighty fighting machine and its heat ray. Uh, to like War of the Worlds, here's a game for you. It looks fine. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's kind of low budget, uh, like little game, but it looks alright. Shocked. Yeah. Mm. Okay. <laughs> um. I yeah, fine. I mean, I I like War of the Worlds. I like the 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 concept of it. I always yeah. sort of. Uh, enjoyed the I, I like the movie the tom cruise movie <laughs> yeah, okay. it's, like, it's not great but it's not shit either it's uh, but, you know I, I like stuff like that so yeah i uh, won't yeah. be checking out that game though absolutely no no <laughs> yeah it comes out on pc switch and xbox no ps4 sorry PlayStation. yeah play uh, that, people don't care yeah <laughs> no one's going god damn i wish that war of the worlds game was on playstation <laughs> damn you uh Cool. What else we got? Um, we got a game you got you guys won't care about, but a game called East Nine Monstrum Knox, which is the ninth game in the series, obviously. Um, so East Origins is where our intro music comes from. Fun fact. Mm. Uh, just very cool. Again, low budget, but low budget, but it's cool like action RPG. Been around for ages, literally since like I think like PS One sort of time. And yeah, cool. it's action RPG. It's very cool, very anime. And it's a like game series I really like. Would like to get into, but there's just so many. I don't know where to start. There's no time. Um, yeah, played played a few of them. They're all really fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, I mean, that sounds great, Finn. I'm really excited for you. Yeah, yeah. I know, right? <laughs> and be. everyone else who's played the other eight games in that series, series I can't pronounce. <laughs> yeah, he's white ass. Um, what's it got? A Neo collection. Neo being the um, sort of Dark Souls ish mm. game made by Team Ninja. Apparently yeah. it's um apparently it's not that much better than the PlayStation the PS4 version. There's not like really? that much enhancement in terms of looks and stuff. Yeah, that's a shame. Yeah, uh, I thought that. Especially yeah. good. I mean I've played a little bit of the, the first one. Um and it, yes, it is good, but yeah, if you if you're a Dark Souls demons, if you're a Souls born fan, this is for you, one hundred percent. Yeah. But you Absolutely. already know what it is. It's it's that's very uh um it's quite a niche thing, really, I think. Yeah, it's a cool little game. Team Ninja PlayStation Ray. exclusive as well. Yeah, PS5. Mm. Nice. Um, and we've got uh, Little Nightmares 2. A Little Nightmares being a cool little horror indie game. Mm. Little Nightmares yep. 2 coming out. Uh, looks very cool. Sort of like, an, like, a, like a platforming game, sort of. A bit like yeah. a horror game. Yeah, it's like a platforming horror game. It look, it's, it's really the first one's cool. Um, and I'm sure the second one, it's been a long time coming, actually. I feel like Little Nightmares has been out for ages. Yeah, a long, long time. Um, yeah, it's very cool. I might check this out. I'm got, I don't know. I never got around to playing the first one, so I might go back and play that at some point. Mm -hmm. I think I own it, but yeah, it's very cool. Cool art style. I think I've got it. I think I've got the first one. I'm not sure. It's probably there somewhere. Yeah, me too. Um, what else we got? Oh, here we go. This is the game for you, Sonny. Um, a game called Pretty Princess oh. Party. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hey, I've been keeping my eyes out for this one. I'm so I'm super excited. I can't believe it's finally coming out. Yeah, exclusive, exclusive to Twitch. Uh, become a princess of a magical castle. Pretty Princess Party on the Nintendo Switch transport transports you to a magical land to explore a long abandoned enhanced enchanted I can, I can read castle. <laughs> learn to, <laughs> learn to be a princess. Yeah. Learn to be a princess and decorate the castle any way you wish. Um yeah, it looks cute as hell if you're into girly little dolls and stuff. Steve, that sounds like one that you will <laughs> almost definitely have to buy for Dakota. <laughs> mm. Maybe, yeah. It, it, it could be like, <laughs> yeah. Is it? It's not one of them like weird anime ones, is no, it? No, no, no. Shiny vagina. Ones, is it? 
<laughs> and no, it looks like a long like innocent law kids game. I was hoping not the fact that Sonny had recommended it for my five year old daughter. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. yeah, to be honest, I, I recommended it without even knowing that it wasn't a shiny vagina one. It didn't even cross God. my mind that that was it. You went there, you went to that <laughs> dirty place. You dirty, boy. I was making sure, as the, as the responsible father that I am, <laughs> mm. um, uh, okay. dirt. You don't let your daughter play it and you play it yourself. If, of course, it is a shiny vagina one. Yeah, yeah no shiny no vaginas here, sadly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> basically, it's, it's, it's like a collection of mini games, basically. So you've got like, uh, yeah, mini games, looting, cake decorating, horse racing, and dancing. And, and vagina yeah. shining. And vagina shining, yeah. <laughs> Fun time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I don't know why anyone listens to this podcast. Because we're hilarious. That's yeah, we that's are. true. Yeah, we are. We that that exactly we are. Yeah, we are definitely hilarious. Is it appropriate? Speaking of shiny vaginas, oh. uh, we have a game called Galgun Returns. Oh. A <laughs> re-release of a game. Uh, it's basically you 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 it's a shooter, we like a three D shooter kind of, in like a sort of a uh, House of the Dead kind of thing. Imagine mm-hmm. that, both anime girls, and you're shooting them with like love and making it <laughs> yeah what do you mean I'll love be, I'll, read, I'll, with... yeah, I'll read the description gal gun is the entertaining story of a young man who becomes super super popular with the opposite sex and is now living the unfortunate life of having every lady that looks his way confessing their undying love for him i know that feeling yeah but, but he must steal himself and pen <laughs> he would be loves off with his special weapon uh-huh. Known as, oh, a, oh, right. known as a pheromone shot. Mm. As he tries to win the affections of one of the main protagonists. Uh, Galgon is a crazy combination of arcade-style shooting action and dating sim that truly has no equal. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, if you're into shooting schoolgirls and making this, you know, clean up their skirts and stuff, yeah, this is the game for you. Um, Finn, <laughs> I want you to answer me a question, honestly. Sure. Do you own any of the Galgun games? Yes. I mean, no, right. of course. Gross. <laughs> uh, no, I don't. <laughs> I'm not, you know, a weirdo. What's that, that weird player? game that you did have, though, where, that you streamed that time? Oh, Sandman, Sandman Kagura. Which I bought. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Yeah. It, all I knew about it was uh, yeah, it was an Egypt Platinum and was sort of like Dynasty Warriors and it had boobs in it. I was like, sweet. Uh, but yeah. It, it were, you was, go, were you going and, through like a really lonely time then or something? Uh, yeah. But no, it was just like one of those things that I'm gonna need to land them, sure, why not? Um, and I played it and was like, oh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe. It's like the kind yeah. of game that you don't want your mum to walk in on you playing. Yeah, it's the kind of game you don't want on your trade list, but I'm st- stuck there now. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, maybe I'll go back and play them at some point just for lols. Just for fun. Can you stream it on our Twitch channel, please? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll do. Do it. Uh, cool. Coming out on the same day, something a far less. Creepy. Uh, Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. Oh, Real yeah. Nice. I forgot this was coming out this month. Yeah. That's right. It's very cool. Like an enhanced version of Super Mario 3D World. Uh, along with a whole new expansion. Basically, a whole new game. Looks sort of like Mario Sunshine, almost. Um, looks super, like, epic and cool. Like, Bowser looks awesome. Yeah, it looks awesome, yeah. So good. Uh, yeah, if you like Mario, this is going to be amazing. Obviously, Nintendo games always are. Especially Mario games. Yeah, I mean, Nintendo first-party games are ridiculous, to be fair. So, um, yeah, that's going to be great. Yeah, absolutely. Look forward to playing that. Um, what else have we got? Um, well, a game called Kick It's Bunny. Uh, solve block puzzles in the bunny world by kicking it, restoring the figures. You can play the game alone or with friends. It's a what? puzzle game. Why? Okay. Why are they, what? I don't get it. What? Who is making these games? And who are they making them for? I just don't get it. That sounds shit. That sounds awful. Yeah, I, I, I don't get this right. You have to kick a bunny. You kick bunnies, right? No, you, you kick uh, boxes. You, you, yeah, you, yeah. You're playing as a bunny, you're kicking like blocks and puzzles. Okay. Yeah, I'm that's sure, a, I'm not sure a game bunny. where you kick bunnies would be uh, very popular. Yeah. yeah. To be honest, so, it's like one of those games just trying to be all funny and wacky. It's like, oh, look at me, got bunnies kicking things. It's like it's fine. Mm. Sounds shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, the creators were probably really big fans of this podcast before that. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Fuck this podcast. We'll go on to something else. Dude, don't talk about shiny vaginas. <laughs> Speaking of shiny vaginas, 
Uh, we've got a game called Puss, P U S S. <laughs> insane, observe, ab ab insane, absurd, and intense avoidum of the game about the cat. It's about the cat, Sonny. Is the it that one that was advertised um, when the PS5 oh. was revealed? I don't Is think it so. No. Oh, no. it isn't that? Yeah. It's just them, like, in the little. I don't know, puzzle game, I guess. I can't really tell from the green jars. It looks weird. But mm. yeah, it's a game about cats. Um, People yeah. will definitely be looking at that, thinking, oh, that sounds like something that my pervert self would enjoy. Click <laughs> on it, and it's actually about a cat. And then they'll be like, okay, nice. Yeah. I don't think what type of game it is. No, you know. When Sam ran Kagura out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's already out. Um, <laughs> oh, here we go. A game I'm definitely going to play Persona 5 Strikers. No, oh, device. yeah. In uh, Japan. I don't know why they changed it. Uh, coming out on PS4, Switch, and PC. Actually, mm -hmm. a Dynasty Warriors style ish um, sequel to Persona 5. Yeah, it looks super stylish as well. I mean, like, Persona 5 is ridiculously stylish anyway. Yeah. Um, but uh, this, yeah, I, I've I've seen some footage of this and it looks really, really good. So um, cool. I'm gonna try that and get will through. sell so well. Yep, <laughs> absolutely. I'm going to try and get to Persona 5 again before I play this. Cause it's literally wow, like, really? Cool. Yeah, yeah. It's been to my backlog for ages. The new one. Did you get the plat? Oh, Royale. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I'd like to go back. You, yeah, Royal I'd like to go back and play the original to get a platinum. But then this was announced. I thought, well, I might as well wait for this version and platinum that instead. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Fair enough. Great game. Really great. Game. I would. I would love to put the hours in and finish Persona Five. I have it. Uh, I really like it. Yeah. Um, I just don't know when I'll if if I will ever get the chance to do it. If it was on Switch, that'd be perfect. But um, yeah, but one. Persona Five's not though, is it? No, I don't know. Um, but yeah, very very cool. Look forward to playing that. Hopefully, some soon. dicks in there as well. There's probably shiny vaginas in there as well, isn't there? Yeah, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> uh, cool. What else have we got? Uh, oh, Bravely Default Two, um, which is a little JRPG made by Square. Um, more like classic uh, turn-based uh, Final Fantasy type of games. Uh, it's actually the third game in the series. Mm -hmm. uh, you got Bravely Default, Bravely Second, which is the sequel to Bravely Default, and then Bravely Default 2, which is its own standalone game. It's a bit weird. But, cool. I'm glad that you're here to cater for the people that like those games, because like, <laughs> me and Steve are like, just dumbfounded when you talk about it. We're just like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's weird that they call it Bravely Default 2, because it's the third game. I can, that confused a lot of people, including me. Um, but I played the demo on Twitch. It's very, very cool. If you're into like classic old school JRPGs, this Which is for we you. We are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's awesome. And other than a bunch of random stuff. Oh, yeah. Taxi, no, Taxi Chaos, which is a mm. game based on Creative Taxi, obviously. There's, there's based on, and then there's ripping it off completely. <laughs> yeah. There's pretty much ripping it off completely. Um, we're literally the offspring away from this being just Crazy Taxi. It looks great. Don't get me wrong. It looks really good. It yeah. just looks like a new Crazy Taxi with a different name. Mm. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. I'll def When's that out, by the way? Well, uh, it's on the 23rd. Mm. Yeah, I'm definitely going to check that out. That looks great. Yeah. Uh, description says, uh, Taxi Chaos is a fresh and modern take on classic taxi games. Just one, <laughs> as far as I know, where drivers can earn big fares by successfully picking up and dropping off customers at the destination of their choice, like a certain other taxi game. Yeah, uh, oh, good god, damn man, I love Crazy Taxi, it's so good. I love my phone actually. Uh, rush around town to pick up the craziest of customers and deliver them on the time <laughs> as far as you can. Let's go make some crazy money. Yeah, are you ready? Here we go. Okay, yeah, 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 <laughs> <Dun, dun, dun, laughs> great game. Yeah, so good. Great soundtrack. Uh, yeah. And yeah, a bunch of like weird Japanese games like like the boards are. Uh, like visual novels kind of things. And that's about it, as far as I can tell. Right, cool. Yeah. There we go. That uh, was a, a shorter Games of the Month this time mm. around, I think. Yeah, I skipped a lot. But yeah. Is that because it's just a bunch of garbage on there? Pretty much. A bunch of nothing. Okay. A bunch of nothing. A bunch yeah. of nout. A bunch of zilch okay yeah right. big hit, no. yeah yeah what, what, what's the pick of the month uh we're gonna go put percent of percent of vibe scramble the strikers yeah i think that's definitely the biggest release of the month for me the most the thing i'm looking forward to most is uh the crazy taxi ripoff galgan oh yeah crazy yeah of course yeah yeah me too <laughs> <Galgan>. <laughs> 
<laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool. All good right. Time. Absolutely good times. Okay, so before we move on to the week in wrestling, it's time for round two <laughs> of the Eliminator. Yeah. Yay. Yay. So, Finn Steele is currently leading the series 1-0. Uh, but there was a little bit of controversy last week, actually, and I just want to fix a, um, um, one of the answers uh, that um, I gave. So it was the last question. It was about um, what was the last pay-per-view to air on Channel 4 in the UK. I, you know, I, I gave the answer Armageddon because it aired in December. The actual answer was Vengeance. Now, I was right in the pay-per-view. It was one where Chris Jericho won the WWF Undisputed Championship. Or was it WWE then? I can't remember. I think it was F still. I think it was F, wasn't it? Because yeah. then get the F out and when Brock Lesnar was like the year after. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it was Vengeance and not Armageddon, but it was the right pay-per-view and neither of them got it right anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Yeah. Speaking of other questions. Well, no, we're not going there with that because... Nintendo came out in 1992 in the UK. Came out in 1991 in America, where we don't live. And 1990, I think, in Japan. Yeah, it was 1990 in Japan, yeah. Uh, so technically, that, that, that answer was correct for one part of the world. And you won anyway, Finn. I know it didn't. It didn't matter, but I'll just you know, want to put it out there. I was right. Hey. <laughs> and I you, said you, 1989, so I got none of them. None of the three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was 1991 and 92. So yeah, you still won, Finn. It's all right. Let it go. Let it go, mate. <laughs> I, will. I will. I'll let, let it, go. it go. All right. So the rules of the eliminator: each competitor starts with five lives. The one with lives remaining at the end of the questions wins yeah play along at home let us know your answers on social media you can tweet us or instagrammers or facebookers at games and graps on all of those things first question are you ready i am ready ready all right cue the music <laughs> <laughs> Okay, good question. <laughs> In which video game did Yoshi make his first appearance? Was it A, Super Mario Brothers? Was it B, Super Mario Brothers 3? Was it C, Super Mario World? Or is it D, Mario Kart? I left you about to pass. I initially thought Mario Kart, but I'm going to go with C. Super Mario World? Yeah. I mean, okay. I'm not up on my Nintendo, so someone's going to probably laugh now and go, oh, it came out in 2010. I ain't got a clue. <laughs> so I'll uh, go, well, I'll stick with C. Okay. Yeah. You're right. It's, it's C. It's in Mario World. There you go. Finn's answered the question for you. It is indeed C. Yeah. Can we play the, can we play the question right noise, please? Ding. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Here's a wrestling question. Wrestling. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the 1992 Royal Rumble was the first Royal Rumble match to be competed for the WWF Championship. So the winner won the WWF Championship. Who was the winner? Was it A, Sid Justice, B, Hulk Hogan, C, the Ultimate Warrior, or D, Ric Flair. Uh, I'm gonna go with Ultimate Warrior. Okay. D, Ric Flair. Blue. And the answer is D, Ric Flair. Woo! A life lost for you. Damn. Again, before my time. Darn. And mine. Yeah, can we, can no, we have no. the noise to uh, signify that you've lost a life, please? <laughs> <laughs> great, great noise. Right. Finn is down to four lives. Yeah. Question number three. Replacing Tiger Woods, which golfer became the new title athlete for PGA Tour video game series in 2015? Was it A, Phil Mickelson, B, Nick Faldo, C, Rory McIlroy, or D, 
Happy Gilmore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the first thing that came into my head was uh, Rory McIlroy. So I'm going to go with that. Okay. Yeah, Rory McIlroy. The answer is Rory McIlroy. Congratulations, both of you. Yay. I think you got a sports question right. I did, I did it. Awesome. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> So this is wrestling and video games in one. No. Just Ooh. like this podcast. Yeah. Appropriate. Which famous wrestler had a cameo appearance in Saints Row 4? Was it A, Sting? Was it B, Goldberg? C, Roddy Piper? Or D, Hulk Hogan? I'm going to go with uh, Roddy Piper. Okay. I'm going to go with Goldberg. Okay. The answer was Roddy Piper. Yeah. I knew that one. <laughs> so, Steve, you lose a life, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Good game. What's that? Four all. Uh, yeah, yeah, so you're right. both down to four lives with three questions left. Oh, cool. Okay. Next question. <laughs> what is the name of the DJ in Burnout Paradise? Ooh. Is it A, DJ Apocalypse? Is it B, DJ Uranium? C, DJ Atomica, or D, DJ Look at MC Neat? <laughs> um, I haven't got a clue, so I'm going to go A. Uh, okay. DJ Atomica sounds familiar, but I don't know for sure. Okay, what's your final answer, Finn? I'll say Atomica. Okay. The answer is DJ Atomica. Yes. Burning <laughs> <laughs> Paradise, tell again. Mm. Great game, really good game. The remastered, you can you can get the remastered. It's on EA Access. Good times. Yeah, another game. All right, so Finn, you keep a life. Steve, you lose a life. Mm. Unfortunate. <laughs> Two questions left. Steve has three lives. Finn has four lives. <laughs> In Rocket League. Oh, okay. In Rocket League. <laughs> <laughs> Scoring a goal whilst upside down is classed as what type of goal? Is it A, an armadillo? Yeah. B, a turtle? C, a crab? Or D, a squirrel? Uh, I was never good enough for a league to be able to score a goal upside down. Uh. <laughs> Same. I'm going to go A. Again, I have not don't think I've ever scored an upside down goal. Okay. Yeah, so I'll go with turtle. But I've no idea. Okay. The answer is turtle. Oh, oh wow. Fucking hell. <laughs> what a guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a mare. Yeah. <laughs> Steve, was, you are down to two lives. Finn Thanks. still has four. Yeah. Game over then, isn't it? It is game over. Game over. It is game over, but... Dead rubber question. Dead rubber yeah. question. Ready? Yeah. In which year was popular game Snake first made available on Nokia phones? <laughs> Specifically mm. on the Nokia 6110. Was it A, 1996, B, 1997, C, 1998, or D, 1999. Uh, I'll say 96. I'm not there. Okay. I'll go 97. The answer is 1998. Both no. wrong. <laughs> Damn. So you both lose a life. Steve, you would be down to one. And Finn, you are down to three. Should we have a, should we have a bonus question? Cool. Do sure. a bonus well, question. Let's go for it. Okay. And the is were. Um, indestructible, strongest uh, substance known to man, unbreakable. Yep. 
What, <laughs> Nokia phones? Oh, yeah, definitely. The yeah. best Nokia phone for me is the Nokia 3210, and it's still yeah. a great phone now. Yeah. I think everyone had the Nokia 3210. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah that's phone. It's a great phone. Top phone. <laughs> that's it. Okay. Next question. Bonus question. It means absolutely nothing. <laughs> Originally named Jumpman, in which 1981 game did Mario first appear? That's an open question. I know it. I'll just leave it answer. Is it a Donkey Kong game? It is a Donkey Kong game, yes. Donkey Kong. Yes. Yeah. Yep, yeah, you're right. Donkey Kong. Okay, it is actually Donkey Kong. Congratulations, Steve. Yeah. That's a great guess. Yeah. Good stuff. It wasn't a guess. I did know. I did know it. Yeah. yeah. Ah. Okay. There we go. So cool. Finn now leads the eliminator two nil. But Steve, that was a good effort. I thought. Yeah. <laughs> it's multiple choice, isn't it? Yeah. It is. Yeah, you know, no, you got to guess. Be fair, Finn. You know, guessed a lot there as well. Yeah, I got lucky on DJ Tomiga and um, the turtle. Yeah. Yeah. I like turtles. <laughs> <laughs> I like turtles. <laughs> Uh, I need to uh, uh, get some research done. We've got a shitload of questions. There's more video game than wrestling questions in there um, this week, but next week we'll go uh, We'll go with more wrestling questions, maybe. That's unfair. Cool. All right, so that's round two of the Eliminator. Finn leads the series 2-0. I have no idea where this ends or even why we're playing, but it's good fun. <laughs> and uh, thanks we'll, to we'll, guys. We'll, if you've been playing at home, let us know. Keep uh, Let us know what you got. No cheating either. Don't don't <laughs> come to us and go, yeah, oh, I got all of them right because I'm just a fucking genius. Yeah, no Googling. <laughs> Squinny, Squinny was honest with his answers last week, which, yeah. uh, which I'm happy about. Yeah. So good times. So yeah, here's up with your answers. Some some uh, some sort of punishment at the end for whoever the loser is, which will probably be me. So <laughs> I don't know. We'll think, we'll think of something. Well, yeah, we'll think of something. Maybe it could be play one of those shiny vagina games. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe not. No. Maybe not. <laughs> 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 Watch every WrestleMania back to back. Oh Jesus! Oof. I don't I think, think it's got that much worked, time. Well, I think someone worked it out, and it's uh, it's something like 180 hours or something. Stupid. Ooh. Anyway, Jeez. right. Uh, speaking of wrestling, um, before we move on to the week in wrestling, I just wanted to have a just to bring this up. It's video game related still. Um, the, the, the fact that we've finally got a trailer, uh, well, a new launch trailer for Retromania Wrestling. Yeah, cool. Uh, which looks great. That's coming out on um, everything, basically, uh, which is it's basically the official sequel to um, WWF WrestleFest on the arcades. Awesome. Which is still a fucking great game, by the way. Yeah. Awesome. Also, um, Action Arcade Wrestling is coming as well. This oh, yeah. was originally the uh, Chikara Pro video game, but mm. um, due to uh, circumstances, Chikara Pro is no longer a thing. And this is now Action Arcade Wrestling. Now, this is actually a follow-up to previous Action Arcade Wrestling games, and it looks a lot of fun. It's still keeping some of the elements that were present um, when it was going to be the Chikara Pro game. But, um, yeah, the trailer uh, came out yesterday, I believe, and it looks a lot of fun. Yeah, it's decent. Mm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. definitely. It's great to see so many like wrestling games like starting to pop up because it's been literally over the years it's just been WWE and WWE only. Yeah. 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 We've got a W game coming as well, haven't we? At some yeah, point, and so. also there's a game uh, called The Wrestling Code coming out as well. Oh yeah. Which is a uh, game from Virtual Basement. Cool. Which looks really cool. It's got um it's got a load of indie guys signed and it's also got, you know, some people that you would know as well like Brian Cage. Oh yeah. So Sweet. That's, that's coming at some point as well, hopefully this year. So there's a lot to, a lot of wrestling games to look forward to. Um, the best wrestling game of all time is still Wrestling Empire, though. So go for <laughs> it. And yeah. the bit so, is, uh, I thought of, or the saw, um, if you're into this kind of thing, uh, the new expansion for Final Fantasy XIV online it been announced, got announced yesterday, which is uh, called Endwalker. Uh, very cool. Final Fantasy XIV is a game I would love to get into. Apparently the story and stuff is very cool. There's a whole like atmosphere. It's very, very cool. It's just, I just don't have time. It's so big. <laughs> That's what um, she said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's so big and thick, it's really hard. Yeah, to get into it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, there you go. Right. Listen to this. There you go. Hell of a game. 
There you go. Cool. I'm sure there's some Final Fantasy fans out there listening to this podcast somewhere. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Right. The Week in Wrestling. Wrestling. Yeah. Look how prepared I am now, by the way. Okay, I log- Yeah, logging on 15 minutes early into the studio to uh, get all this stuff for us and get all the nice tickers. Took us long enough to actually start the podcast because of faffing. That's my yeah, fault. But, that. <laughs> um, but we got there in the end, and yeah. you know, you get a very nice-looking podcast. You're welcome. Yeah. We've really stepped our game up this year. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. It feels like, like you said, we were talking about this the other day in, uh, like in the group message that we've got for this uh, delightful podcast. Um, it just feels like a fresh start for us. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it really does. I mean, I know this is episode 130, but like, it really does feel like a fresh start for us. Yeah. It's been, yeah, been on and off for various reasons. Um, yeah. but we're finally, you know, we've, had, we've all had a good place and we're all ready to go, you know, charging forward. We've got Steve with us now. I think Steve's yeah. influence has helped. Uh, definitely, yeah, yeah, that. definitely. It's like the driving yeah. force behind us because me and Finn are lazy pieces of shit. Yeah. And like, <laughs> if we can't be bothered or we're like, we're just feeling a little bit under the weather, we're like, nah, fuck this. But yeah. now we're like, we're fighting fit and we're, we're, we're all in a good place. We're all having a just, you know, despite what's going on in the world as well. Um, you know, we're, we're raring to go. And this is where we hope that, you know, you all continue to, uh, share the journey and you know also yeah, any sort of shares or anything like that you, you know anyone you can tell about the podcast please do because you know yeah. any any sort of you know sharing or spreading of the word really really does help us and we really appreciate it yeah absolutely definitely. right the week in wrestling so the raw rumble was this past sunday and it was a good show i thought yeah decent yeah i really enjoyed it Longer yeah, than advertised, good. which means I got less sleep mm. before work, but it is what it is. Cool. <laughs> the things we do for wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it did go on longer than I thought. When I looked at the clock and I was like, holy shit, it's quarter to four. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what the hell's going on? I kind of, oh. I, I had a bit of a, a tired phase during the, the last man standing match, not because it was uh, boring or anything, but because it was half past two in the morning. Um, yeah. And... I was like, oh my. And then I kind of fought that off and got a second win. So when I went to bed at the end of the pay per view, I was wide awake. I was like, oh, this isn't good. This isn't good. But yeah. yeah. Well worth it. Yeah, it was good. So let's uh, just uh, do a quick rundown of the results for the show. So on the pre show, we had the uh, the women's tag team championships defended Nia Jackson, Shayna Baszler. They defeated. To mm-hmm. regain their championships, they defeated Oscar and Charlotte Fair, Flair, that team that was thrown together for literally no reason at all that I can think of. We got Charlotte. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Match Met. was, uh, what was it? Was it was uh, another Ric Flair and Lacey Evans interruption, wasn't it, that basically yeah. broke the match down? Lacey pretty Evans much, with yeah. her invisible knuckle dusters. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was stupid, wasn't it? Yeah, it's like, I guess they couldn't find it. Knocked it backstage. They just thought, oh, you know, we'll improvise and just use nothing, I guess. The fact that the camera, like, pretty much looks right at the hand and, like, there's very clearly nothing in the hand. A bit. Is, that, is, that, is that definitely what was supposed to happen? Because it looked like Ric Flair, like, just, like, put her fist together. I don't know. Like, like yeah. she was paying up for the woman's right. Because realistically, mm-hmm. if Charlotte was there, ready for the taking, and all she would need to do is the woman's right, you wouldn't need knuckle dusters. I guess. I know. That's true. I, I think it was just the way she was holding the hand. She was like holding it as though she was trying to hide something. No, you could be right. Like, you could like, be right like, though, Sonny. Yeah, like, afterwards you tried to put Sonny down the pants. Like she just, you, you know, use something. Maybe, and, she, just, you know, maybe you know. she just fancied a flick. Maybe. <laughs> flick uh, flat. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, it was well, that's weird. That's the name of this week's podcast, sorted. <laughs> I'm not calling it that. <laughs> <laughs> You're not calling it Flick Flair? No. Why? It's yeah. either Flick Flair or Shiny Vagina, so it's up to you. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah, to be honest, there's, yeah, there's, Rick, Flick Flair is the lesser of two evils. I um, guess so, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> and it has multiple meanings. You like Flick as in, like, get away from me? or Yeah, you, like, fl- flick him in the forehead when he's misbehaving. <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> or you can flick a bean across a table or something. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> we've gone there kids we've gone there yeah sorry folks <laughs> look if, if, if your children are listening to this podcast anybody then 
there is something wrong with you already. You know <laughs> there's something wrong with you. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. This podcast is not for children, probably. Sorry, folks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, video games and wrestling. My kids will love this. What? Shiny no. vaginas? No. <laughs> Flicking beans. What yeah. is going on? <laughs> I know. Hey, I meant baked beans. Like, you know, when one falls off your plate. So did yeah, I. Exactly. Well, I oh, you, right. don't want to yeah. en- you don't want to encourage your children to be flicking food around. That's where, that's where I was going. <laughs> yeah. They where are well. you going? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> stop flicking your beads. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, uh, for Christ's sake. It's dis- anyway, dis- the Royal Rumble. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so yeah. So the new Royal, the new women's tag team champions are Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler. Congrats. Big whoop. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, so Drew McIntyre defending his WWE Championship against the one, the only, the legendary WWE Hall of Famer Goldberg. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was alright, wasn't it? It was, it was better than I expected, but still not great. Yeah, it was shit, really. To be honest, <laughs> wasn't it? It was I mean, a three-move match. Yeah, it was exactly. basically it was what like, it was. Goldberg was wearing Brock Lesnar's ring gear and <laughs> there was all the weird stuff going on, like. Um, it just felt weird. It didn't feel right as a championship match, you know? Yeah, I thought you weird. Why are you yawning? I was thinking about the match and it made me yawn. No, oh, fair enough. Yeah. Good save. Yeah. yeah, good save. Really <laughs> good save, yeah. Um, so, yeah, Goldberg speared Drew McIntyre through the, the barricades. You know, it's a good job the fans cleared out the way in time for it. Mm. Um, and then it was took back into the ring. Goldberg hit a couple of spears, a terrible-looking jackhammer. Uh, yeah. But Drew yeah. ultimately came up Trump's with the Claymore and uh, took Goldberg's old ass head off. Why can't he do his own move hey. anymore? <laughs> like one of two moves you do and he can't do it. Yeah, but. I know. I don't need to see Goldberg anymore. That's it now. I'm done. It's yeah. done. It was it seemed, it seemed quite emotional at the end of it. So I don't know if that was like his final match where he's way of saying goodbye. Who knows? Well, we've still got two years left on a deal. I, I don't think that's it. I do think he'll get, you know, dragged back maybe like for Saudi Mania shows and stuff like that. But maybe. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't think that we need to. Uh, I don't think we need to see that anymore. No, I agree. Agreed. Yeah. Um, so a bang average match literally lasted two minutes thirty two seconds. <laughs> yes. Wow. That's the world championship match. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well. Okay, Sasha Banks defended the uh, SmackDown Women's Championship against Carmella, mm. and that was it was an okay match. Yeah, it was all right. I liked it. Like I said before, I just want to see um, old Reg doing flips and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not quite sure. Fight. I'm not quite sure why Reginald got sent to the back though, because he actually he saved Sasha, didn't he? Yeah, it's not like he did a move on her or anything. So I'm not quite sure why he got sent to the back. Um, like uh, Carmella nearly killed herself as well at oh, one God, point yeah. with the with the he dive was... through the ropes and she yeah. face planted the the. When the there floor. needs to be less, less dive in wrestling. Like every mouse has a dive in the outside. Yeah, dive, dive. So so dangerous. Like just don't <laughs> just make it mm. like a once and once every now and then special kind of thing. Randy Orton's backstage just fuming. Every yeah, livid, yeah. uh, livid at dives and knee slaps. <laughs> I mean, I was having nothing, no nothing against high flying or anything like that. It's just that particular move. Seems a bit dangerous for you know what little pop it gets these days. Yeah. There's no fans to pop. Well, yeah. <laughs> if Who are you People yeah, are exactly. yeah, yeah. The worst um, one is the spear through the ropes. Like, how was that? <laughs> how did you not land on his head yet doing that? I know. Mm. Unbelievable, really. Yeah, I feel like he's like the only, the only. In fact, no, he has been injured, hasn't he? Did he have an extended timeout? I can't remember. I can't remember. Is that Biggie? Yeah. Yeah, I think he's been out injured. But it wasn't because of that, though, was it? No, well, that's no, no. no. Okay. Well, either way, Sasha Banks won. Um, it was an okay match, to be honest, I thought. Yeah. Uh, I like Carmella. I like a new character. Big fan of a new look. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that was, a, that was an okay match. That lasted 10 minutes 25, so way longer than the, the men's Raw Championship. Yeah, much longer, yeah. Yeah, I like it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but good. at two, but at two minutes thirty for that for that Goldberg McIntyre match, that's kind of double the amount of time people expected it to be. So you know you've got to you got to take what you can. Yeah. yeah okay. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> people thought it'd be a minute and it'd be over. 
I, I, thought I mean, we, we thought Goldberg was going to win, so... Yeah, we thought Goldberg was going to win everything. No, I had McIntyre, yeah. but... Yeah. I'm glad McIntyre won. Don't get me wrong. Yes. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um... Next up was the uh, the the women's Royal Rumble match. Yeah. And I thought it was good. I thought it was the better of the two Rumble matches. Like yeah. in terms of execution, I thought. Yeah, a few uh, surprises in there. Like Victoria yeah. and uh, Tori Wilson, guys like that. Yep. Although Tori Wilson's not even a surprise anymore. They drag her back for, for <laughs> everything all the time. Everything. <laughs> good, point. good point. Same she with them. Um, great, by the way. Molly Holly. Yeah, she's been doing, yeah. Yeah, but it, it was, it was good. Um, it was nice to see the final two be who it was. Yeah, very cool. Mm. Yeah, um, you know, it was nice for it not to be Charlotte. I know she was sort of, you know, amongst it at the end, but uh, it was cool to see um, Rhea Ripley and Bianca Belair as the final two. And I thought they had a great sequence before like the final elimination as well. I, I really enjoyed the back and forth between the two of them. It was, uh, it was great. And th this obviously was Rhea Ripley's call up to the main roster. Yes. Good. I know we didn't see her on Raw or Smackdown this week, but um, she, she'll be there. Yeah. absolutely. Yeah. She looked great in it. So I think she eliminated seven, seven women from the match, uh, including Alexa Bliss. I quite like that bit. It looked like oh, yeah. all the spooky stuff was going to go on. The the lights were starting to go out, and then Rhea Ripley went, "No, nope, not having that. We'll see ya." <laughs> nope. And, uh, see and ya. over she went. So, yeah, that was that was quite cool. I'm I'm glad that they didn't go down that route. Uh, it set us up to to maybe think that something was going to happen in the men's, but ultimately it didn't. So, yeah, uh, I'm glad they didn't. Uh, it was it was a cool way to kind of say, "No, not not tonight. See you later." Yeah. Yeah, and that was a little bit strange, actually. When the lights and stuff started to go off, I was worried that, you know, the Raw Rumble was actually pre-recorded because, mm. um, you know, obviously, with the change of costumes and stuff that she's been going through recently, I thought, ah, okay, has this been pre-recorded? But then, of course, she ended up getting thrown out and, you know, all was fine. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I thought it was a good, I thought it was a good Rumble match. So it was, uh, the first half of it was a, was a tad slow, it, got better and then as you say as the as it came down to the final final three final two it was it was much better uh congratulations to the to the production team at wwe for missing bailey's uh elimination yeah yep. so well done yep. on that a pivotal a pivotal part of that royal rumble match yeah you know a feud that's been you know going on for a while now bianca belair and bailey um and you miss one of the big players in the royal rumble being eliminated well done really good uh, fantastic good job mm. great stuff <laughs> uh, of course bianca belair ended up winning she is now uh guaranteed um a spot at wrestlemania for the women's championship whichever one she will pick which one do you think she'll pick there's been no tease of nxt so that that we can pretty much take that off the table mm. um do you think it'll be oscar or do you think it'll be sasha banks i think it'll be sasha yeah so well, I, think I think it'll be i think it'll be sasha as well yeah, yeah, I do as well. Yeah, um, yeah, that's what I want to see. I want to see those two go at it. Um, I don't really know who I want to see Oscar take on. It's probably it Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs> it's a total win because she wins everything. I mean, that, that, that it looks like it's going to go that direction, doesn't it? Yeah. Yes, based on what happened on Raw. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, Next up, we had Roman Reigns defending the WWE Universal Championship against Kevin Owens in a last man standing match. And I'm not usually a fan of last man standing matches, but this one was really good. Yeah, really good. Yeah, um, it was excellent. Very cool. Got, got the cool spots. A bit of a botch towards the end. The hang yeah. Uh, which was a shame. But otherwise, really yeah. good. Yeah, really, really good. It took a little while for Paul Heyman to to get the handcuffs off Roman Reigns, um, which you know made the ending perhaps look a little bit stupid. But <laughs> yeah, uh, the yeah, the matches now, yeah, the matches counting and it's like stopped for no reason. It's like five. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, sure, this is supposed to be done by now. What's going on? But yeah, yeah. it was. Um, the, the, I enjoyed the rest of the match. Very spot heavy. You know, went all through the backstage, but um, you know, with no live crowd there, um, I think that kind of that kind of thing um is better yeah 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 because you've you know there's no 
sort of silence from the arena when they can't see what's going on apart from on the screens. So, um, you know, the fact that the, the fake crowd noise is, is there and I thought, I thought the, the, the whole match was executed really well. Like the golf cart spot, um, <laughs> you know, it was obviously going to be acknowledged by um, the AEW guys. Um, and Kenny Omega said they did it well and was respectful of it. Obviously, Sammy Guevara and Matt Hardy, they alluded to the fact they did it by putting up a gif of the time they did it where Sammy Guevara got run over by Matt Hardy. Um, golf carts aren't exclusive to... Um, any company. This has happened before. I believe it happened in WCW. It's probably happened in ECW. It even happened in Jackass. So, WrestleMania 17 says hi. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, golf golf cart spots are done. not new. No, it's been done. And, you know, the comment sections were full of, oh, AEW did it first. AEW did it first. No, it didn't. They didn't, and, and that, that's just how it is. But look, that, I, I knew as soon as it happened that that comparison was coming, and yeah. we weren't disappointed. But good match overall. Uh, Roman Reigns beats Kevin Owens um, to retain the Universal Championship, which I did think was going to happen anyway. So, yeah, yeah, it was a good match. Really, really good. Very cool. And yeah. Roman keeps it until WrestleMania, 100% for me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. I can't see him, isn't it? No. Um, then we went out to the men's war rumble, which again I enjoyed. Yeah, me too. Very cool. Again, yeah. some nice returns. Christian, LES, going oh, back. Yeah. I, yeah. Off, I thought it was gonna be like not actually really wrestling a whole lot and taking bumps, but no, he was taking, you know, a bunch of bumps. It's you know, actually having a good match. So hopefully he's coming back properly, like Edge. Uh, he's coming back on a part time schedule is what I've read. Yeah, yeah. It was like Edge, yeah. Um which is cool. Cool. Would... yeah, I wanted to see like Edge and Christian versus like like Usos or like Roman and Jay or Jimmy mm-hmm. and or Jay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> guys like that. I think I just want to see them tag, tag again. And then maybe they'll... Yeah, they'll I, I want to see that. Edge, Edge versus Christian. I want mm. that. Give me that. Yeah, I definitely see there being an Edge and Christian versus another team match at some point. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, but it was great to see him back. Really, really good. Good to see him, you know, play such a pivotal role in the Royal Rumble match itself. And it was a cool little moment when the two of them hugged in the ring. It was great. I loved Edge's smile when Christian made his entrance. That was great. Really, really yeah. nice. Um, but uh, Randy Orton sort of ducked out of the match midway through, uh, claiming injury. And, you know, Edge obviously um, eliminated... Uh, the last person, then Randy Orton came back out of nowhere, no pun intended, and was going to throw Edge out. Edge turned the tables, threw Randy Orton out to win the 2021 Raw Rumble. And we were both shocked and not disappointed. It, I, I really, really enjoyed it. I mean, obviously, the betting odds beforehand, um, you know, Daniel Bryan at one point was favorite. Then the returning Seth Rollins, who did come back, was favorite. And at that point, when we saw that Rollins come back, knowing that he was favorite, we thought, right, okay, here's the winner. Mm. But yeah. again, you know, they, they flipped it on us and had Edge win, which, you know, none of us saw. Yeah, not at all. But No. Like you say, I know Edge was, was favourite at one point, and a lot of people thought that with Edge coming back, that it was a, a cert that he was going to win the Rumble. But like you say, the, the odds changed massively. If you're, if you're into that sort of thing, the, the odds changed massively, and, and Seth Rollins was the, the, the big favourite. And... Mm with him coming back. And I actually thought that they botched the ending. It was just the way that, the way that Rollins went over the top rope, it looked as though he was supposed to have supposed to hold on and come back in. And he actually didn't, mm, yeah. uh, but yeah. it, it clearly, it wasn't a botch. That was the plan all along for, for edge to win the rumble. And like you say, we, we, we all kind of sat there in, in shock, Yeah, but not disappointed at the same time. So yeah. It's been, it's been cool. Yeah, definitely. And it's been it's been cool to see Edge on um all the, all three everything, yeah. Brands this yeah. week on WWE. The week of Edge. Yeah, definitely. Who do you see Edge challenging for the championship? Um I think it's Roman Reigns. Yeah, I want to say Roman. There's a lot of matches there that make sense. Like I say Edge and Christian versus um the Usos or Reigns and Jimmy. Guys like that, or Jay, honestly, we <laughs> have <laughs> <laughs> legit like mess up. Uh, Jimmy and or Jay, Jimmy um, and or Jay, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I think it makes sense to go against Roman. 
Yeah, I, I think so too. I mean, I know he went to NXT, but um, I don't see, uh, although it was a really cool moment for Edge and to, to be in the mix there with Pete Dunne and Finn Balor. Um, mm. Yeah, I don't see um, Edge challenging for the NXT Championship, although I do think the NXT Championship will be defended at WrestleMania. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I think, I think you're leaning towards Edge, uh, sorry, uh, Finn Balor and Karrion Cross there. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's that's unfortunate for Pete Dunne. I think the rea- the reality is, as much as uh, we love Pete Dunne and anyone in the U- UK wrestling loves loves Pete Dunne for everything that he's done and being the UK champion or the NXT UK champion for so long, the reality is, if you're going to have the NXT belt defended at WrestleMania, it's going to be Balor and someone else. It could be Balor versus Dunne. Who knows? But I, I think that kind of is a, it's a bit of a precursor as to what's going to happen in NXT over well next weekend. I think you see Finn Balor take that belt into WrestleMania. Definitely, yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, I, I think, I think, I think Roman. Sorry, Finn, what were you going to say? I say Cross. It reminded me Cross to be feuding with Santos Escobar in a minute, which is a bit random. Mm. Uh, only it- for now, I think that that will sort of finish it because Escobar was uh, like called him out, I think, by saying that he's like the best wrestler on NXT and all this sort of stuff and um, yeah. I think that will be done after Vengeance Day and then you'll see Karrion Cross sort of moving to the, the title picture as we go towards Wrestlemania Yeah, that's going to say, it's a bit happy for Cruiserweight but I guess it's a bit more eyes on a Cruiserweight division which is good, all the good thing I mean, it's not but, for the title, it's not It's not like a championship thing. Oh no, 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 but uh, I think it's, just, it's there to put more eyes on a Cruiserweight division which is yeah, yeah. a really good thing mm. yeah. yeah, definitely, yeah Yeah Um. For all those sort of complaining in comment sections that Edge is too old, please remember that you are the ones that are singing along to Judas every week on AEW. So, um, <laughs> How Edge looks. He's in the best shape of his life. Yeah. He's amazing. Uh, Jericho is not. No. Yeah. But, you know, <laughs> you know Jer- Jericho is considerably older than Edge by a few years and is still putting in great matches. So... It doesn't yeah, matter yeah. about your age, exactly. as long as you are, you, as long as you can work. Um, you know, I don't think it matters. Goldberg, we are looking at you there. <laughs> <laughs> talking yeah. of uh, talking of wrestlers in the best shape of their lives, Carlito. Oh, oh my yeah. god! Unbelievable. <laughs> where the where has that come from? Yeah. I know. Bloody hell. Lockdown's been good for him. He's been Lockdown on the protein has- shakes. Yeah. 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 Like you said the other day, swapped apples for protein shakes. Picking up on, oh, he didn't have an apple with him. He was like looking at his hand, like, my apple. Like, I'm maybe going to find an apple backstage or something before he came out. Uh, I think maybe he's not allowed to do the spitting spot. Yeah, no, maybe. Of- all, all, all things, all things considered, it's probably not the best thing to uh, to do on live t- on on TV at the minute. No, yeah. probably not. Um, he's been given a, I think he's been given a three week trial with WWE uh, to. Uh, as in like a producer slash wrestling role, I think people are very mm. impressed with him. So uh, uh, yeah. I definitely want to see more Carlito. I think he's looking looking great. Again, guy's only forty one and he's in incredible shape, the shape of his entire life. So yeah, um, yeah, this is yeah, this is this is cool. I, <laughs> no pun intended, but yeah, it's it's great to see Carlito back. Really happy with that. Cool. Oh yes, another big return, of course. Oh again, Helms. Yeah, <laughs> I, I popped. He's about to do a double choke slam again on the. I think it was Lashley and Big E, wasn't it? Yeah. Very cool. I liked it. Yeah, really mm-hmm. cool. Love the hurricane. Love the hurricane a lot. Good stuff. Yeah. But yeah, all in all, great show, I thought. Yeah, I enjoyed it. What yeah, really, really good. How did we do in the predictions? Um, oh, I've lost track. Um, I think I think I had Charlotte and Asuka to win the tag team titles. Mm-hmm. Or retain. Um I had Goldberg to win <laughs> against Drew McIntyre. So did I, yep. Uh, I think it's Sasha for that match. Yep. I can't remember who I said would win the Women's Rumble. I think we all had Bianca, to be honest. Yeah, we did. Yeah, I think we'd actually, yeah. Good point. Mm-hmm. Uh, but Roman for um, that championship match, which all the way again. Yep. And like we said, um, somebody said Daniel Bryan for the Rumble. I think I said Cesaro, just because <laughs> I really wanted to see him win. I um, said Keith Lee, and he wasn't even in it because of <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the same. Um, I think I, yeah, I said Daniel Bryan, Sasha. I said Drew, though, and I said Nia and Shayna. Yeah. I mean, we were yeah. mostly right. Yeah, yeah. And that, and that's not because it was an overly predictable pay-per-view. Like we said on the 
pre-show before the pre-show that there was a lot of stuff that could have happened. We made mm. a lot of out there predictions that I think the main one being that the fiend would be there, but he wasn't at all. So uh, I, I even said that John Cena would be there. So um, oh, he, there. he just couldn't see him. <laughs> uh... Okay. Good show though. So um, <laughs> I'm going to go for. I think it was like a. I think it was an an A. I think it was an A worth an A in the school grades. Yeah, I like with that. A How would you grade the Marvel, Steve? Yeah, I'd go with an A, A minus. A minus. Yeah, okay. yeah. There's a strong showing. Good, good. Strong show. Yeah, yeah I'd probably give it A minus as well. Actually, I think because the tag team match with Shane Baszler and Nia Jax was the and Goldberg versus Drew was me. Everything else is good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. Um, all right. So um, let's you know briefly go through the uh, the weekend in wrestling. Uh, <laughs> but before we do, Lars Sullivan has been released. <clears throat> and no one cares. So um, <laughs> gen genuinely couldn't care less. When I saw it, I was like, yeah, great. Don't care less. Another person that's been released is uh, Steve Cutler. Mm, yeah, part of thing. the uh, Forgotten Sons, and then more recently part of Baron Corbin's King's Court or whatever the fuck on uh, SmackDown. He was the one who got released when it was uh, Ryko who said the stupid thing online. Yeah, you're sort of Ryko have been that guy. Then again, he was big and strong and that's a bit so you know they give him long. Yeah, that's the WWE mold. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah, big strong beard. Mm, big strong beard. <laughs> um. So yeah, this week's WWE was very sort of edge heavy. Yep. I get them teasing uh, who is going, who he's going to challenge for the championship. Uh, obviously, we all think it's going to be Roman Reigns, but um, Raw again, not a great show, really. Yeah. Broken record, just way too long. You know, yeah. I. I Watching it and and obviously fast forwarding through breaks and and skipping over one or two little bits, it got to that two hour mark and I was ready f to turn it off. Mm -hmm. But there's another hour, yeah. and obviously I know that there's there's more things to come. And I think okay, I've I'll watch this and I I, I, I was intrigued to see Orton versus Edge for what is supposedly going to be the last the, was the last time. Uh, yeah. I don't mind Orton versus Edge being on a, an no, of course. Raw. That's that's cool. Uh, you know, keep it away from pay per views. Now it's been done. Yeah, but a few with Alexa and Randy as well. At the yeah, end. yeah. So again, again for me, it's just I don't want it to be a three-hour show, but it always will be. So I perhaps just need to get over that. And uh, it is what it is. There is that, but it doesn't doesn't make it you know any better. You know, it still should be a two-hour show. There's no two ways about it. Pay per view should be three hours. The TV show should be two hours, and that's that's just that's exactly how it should be. No, there's no other way about it. Um, you know, Riddle and Lashley, that was a bit of a cop out, and I see that carrying on for a little while. Yeah. Riddle will eventually win that championship, but they're obviously dragging it out to, um, I assume, the next pay per view, which I think is Elimination Chamber, but I don't know. Yeah. Or fast lane, whichever. Uh, fast lane is yeah, the one right before WrestleMania, isn't it? So I think it will yeah. be Elimination Chamber later this month. Yeah, I yeah. believe I believe it is. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so another really lacklustre episode of, of of Raw, to be honest. Not not much yeah. of anything happened apart from um, Alexa turning up in the main event and Edge beating Orton and the tease of who's he going to wrestle going forward. And once again, Jeff Hardy and Elias in a match together. Yeah, um, we can both announce this. At least Kalita was there. Wanted to have Kalito versus Elias. We've had Jeff Hardy versus Elias so many times. Just put Kalito mm -hmm. in there versus Elias. That would that'd have been fine. Don't make it a tag. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's the thing. They're just they're just sort of running these feuds into the ground. Yeah. Um, you know, it's matches that we see every single week that we don't need to see. You know, Riddle's yeah. been Riddle's been involved with the hurt business now for a good few weeks, and you know they had the opportunity to to finished that this week and they could have had Riddle win the championship but they didn't and that's going to carry on um, I don't anticipate that Jeff Hardy and Elias is, is finished and obviously you know we've got the ongoing saga with Randy Orton and The Fiend which I would imagine will end up in a Wrestlemania match yeah probably yeah I, I think so I think so yeah. as well 
what do you think to uh, sorry? What, what do you think to Sheamus putting his uh, name forward to be the next WWE champ? I'm not mad at it, to be honest. I'm really not angry at it. He won't win the championship, so it really doesn't no. matter. Um, I, I I think that match will be okay. I think it'll be a good brawl between the two big men. But uh, yeah, it, it doesn't bother it doesn't bother me. I mean, it's just a stopgap as we you know move towards bigger things at WrestleMania. This is just Drew's next pay per view opponent, and yeah, that's that's fine. I I think what we will end up seeing is Keith Lee winning the title yeah. from drew uh but because obviously keith is having to self-isolate i mean i would imagine he's probably going to be back this week yeah you had a thought so if it's 10 days I, I yeah think, I, th- I think the whole him and uh Neck, me, nutsack, and nutsack yeah. having having covid was was a, probably a week before as well so you're probably heading towards 10 days by the time raw rolls back around yeah so i think uh you know, Sheamus will lose to Drew at uh, Elimination Chamber, and then there'll be another challenger for Drew at Fastlane, and then they'll build toward, or they'll have like a tag match, like some sort of cop mm. out before the last pay per view for WrestleMania, and then it will be Keith versus Drew at WrestleMania. Yeah, okay. yeah, uh, yeah. Which you know, it could, because we've obviously said that Reigns will go for uh, Edge will go for Reigns, mm-hmm. and it'll be Balor versus Cross, and Keith Lee versus Drew McIntyre would be great. Yeah, really. Take that definitely. I think it'd be good. It'd be yeah. good for Keith Lee. Uh, it'd be good for him to win as well. That'd be amazing. Definitely, yeah, one hundred percent. So, all in all, another lackluster episode of Raw, but you know, it's just what we come to expect now. Yeah, I was going to say Damien Priest uh, was there as well. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. Damien Priest. And actually, to be honest, I didn't hate the Bad Bunny spots on Raw. I didn't dislike it. I thought it actually uh, went well with what they were trying to do with Priest into introducing him onto the. Uh, raw roster what i do see is um i do see bad bunny and um priest. uh priest um teaming up at some point maybe against miz and morrison yeah that makes sense. I know, uh, bad bunny is like a big wrestling fan and he's a huge star apparently um so i guess i was on wwe and you know bad bunny gets to live out his dream as a wrestler i guess yeah, fine. Okay, fine. But just get it out of the way. All right. The, uh, um, the rumor, sorry to cut across you there. The, the rumor in terms of like with Bad Bunny is that he will be at WrestleMania. He's actually training at the Performance Center as and when okay. he can. But it won't be, he won't be partnering with Damien Priest at WrestleMania to face Miz and Morrison. He'll be partnering with Booker T. Uh, that makes sense. So okay. That is the yep. talk. All right. Might explain why Booker T is looking absolutely jacked at the minute as well. Yes, so, yeah. The guy's um, absolutely ripped, especially yeah. as he cosplayed as GI Bro again on uh, Royal Rumble. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So that makes that, sense. That makes perfect that's sense. Talk. Yeah. And do you know what? If 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 this Bad Bunny guy, if, if he's training at the Performance Center, he's a huge wrestling fan. Then do you know what? Fair play to him. You're living the dream, mate. And if you're going to be at WrestleMania, fair. More fair power to you. you. Yeah, Here's the absolutely. thing, right? I never have an issue with celebrity cameos if they're putting the work in if they are genuine wrestling fans and you know they are willing to sort of put the work in and train to not give us a shitty match at wrestlemania i mean look at um Stephen amell uh the guy yeah. who played arrow when he was um you know he put match. the work in yeah it was great he looked great you know so he's he put the work in to um you know, to to give us a good match, and there there are others as well that have put the work in um, to to give us great matches as well, celebrity wise. So yeah, you know, if Bad Bunny is training and it is going to be Booker T and Bad Bunny versus Miz and Morrison at WrestleMania, I'm totally fine with it. Mm. That you know, because it's it, it's nothing more than an exhibition, and that that's all it needs to be. Yeah, and th- and that's kind of the um, I don't know what, what what would you call it the the heritage or or the, the history of WrestleMania is that it is celebrity heavy. That's what it was designed for. I, yeah. yeah, I would rather see a wrestler that gives a shit about wrestling and is a fan than somebody who's there for a payday. Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah. Because he's obviously a fan. He's done a song about Booker T. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. Like that's his, the, the lead single from his album <laughs> is Booker T. So, you know, he's obviously a fan of the business and that's great so um mm. i don't know what i've got Kay stood next to me at the minute Kay, what do you think about bad bunny being at wrestlemania she just laughed oh <laughs> clearly not a fan of bad bunny yeah well, she was listening to listen to his album on repeat so 
A weird. <laughs> <laughs> she's trying to be cool. She's trying to be cool on the podcast. She's, trying, we, she's trying to fit in with the kids, but she, you know, she's there listening to Bad Bunny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you know, it's all right trying to be cool, saying that you don't like Bad Bunny, but you know, when you're sitting there listening to Bad Bunny. No, like we'll see. On. We'll see it at the end of the year when you're all putting your bloody Spotify rewind for 2021. Yeah, and, <laughs> and there it is, plastered all over Instagram. Four thousand <laughs> listens. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's exactly what it's going to be. Yeah, K's uh, K Spotify most played at the end of 2021. Booker T by Bad Bunny, followed by <laughs> Judas because she's a massive. Follow, mark. Followed by Judas because she's a huge mark. But uh, <laughs> Judas is on your Spotify, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She hates us all, she says. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, we're, we're, we're okay with it. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. I haven't got to live with a UF, Sonny, so... Uh... That's true. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, let's move on to NXT. NXT was a great show this week. Really good. It, the yes. Dusty Cup is is excellent this year. Really excellent. It's yeah. good every year, but it's really, really excellent this year. Um, the, the semifinals are shaping up to be... I mean, Epic. wow. Yes. Yeah. Uh, loved Lucha House Party versus Legado del Fantasma. I thought that was a great match. Could yeah. have been longer. I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Think, you know. Yeah. Plenty, plenty of spots, longer. Plenty of flips. What more? Yeah. Do you want? Yeah. I love. I, I really like Legado del Fantasma. Yeah, yes. Me too. Yeah. Very back. Yeah. Like Good faction. Yeah. I don't think Escobar is two hundred five either. I'm having none of that. <laughs> He's massive. He's pretty huge. It's it's the it's the Buddy Murphy syndrome, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, Very Buddy funny. Murphy. Yeah, yeah. five oh two. But yeah, so Legado del Fantasma and um, Lucha Aspire had a great match. Legado del Fantasma are in the semi-finals against MSK. Holy mm. shit! What a match that is going to be next week. Gonna be really good. excited for that. Uh, they spoke as well after the uh, Legado match, and they're, they're cool. They're funny. They're, I really like them. I'm I'm rooting for them. I want them in the final. Yeah, me too. I think it'd be them and Champa and Thatcher. See, I don't think it will be. I think it'll be them and Grizzled Young Veterans. Mm. I think there's going to be some sort of breakup with. Um, Thatcher and Champa. There's no way that it, 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 I don't think anyway. I don't think it, I think it finishes with another match between Thatcher and Champa. I don't think it ends yeah. with Thatcher and Champa winning the Dusty Cup. But I, I, I wouldn't really like that, to be honest. I really wouldn't. Well, they've done it before, haven't they? Where two wrestlers in a feud, they put them together, they go to the Dusty Cup, and they, I, I can't remember for the life of me who it was, but they won it. Well, they had, Baller, they had Baller and Joe, and uh, they had was Riddle it. and Pete Dunn. Yeah, yeah. So it's been done. I don't think... Uh... Yeah, I'm with you. I, 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 exactly what you've said, I think that's what's going to happen. Yeah, I, I think Grizzled Young Veterans versus MSK in the final would be would be an absolute show-stealer as well. Mm. That'd be really good. Be yeah. so good. Really good. Uh, but, you know, another really good match is, you know, Thatcher and Champa. They won their match. It was really good again. Yeah. 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 Um, we're pushing towards Kushida versus Johnny Gargano, which is going to be fantastic, which I'm yeah, really, good. really excited for. That's going to happen at TakeOver, definitely. Um, we're probably going to get Theory, Austin Theory versus um, Dexter, Dexter Loomis. Loomis as well. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be good. Yeah. Uh, the well, women's Dusty Cup as well is, mm. is, is you know, going strong. Uh, I can see um, Dakota Kai and Raquel Gonzalez winning it. Yeah. I can see them winning it and then winning the tag titles from whoever happened at the time. Good. Yeah, that'd be good. That'd be good. good. Give, give, <laughs> him a, give him a go on NXT. You know, let yeah. Dakota Kai and Raquel Gonzalez float between Raw, SmackDown, and NXT. That'd be brilliant. Love that. Yeah. Well, that was the idea of the belts in the first place, wasn't it? And then it never really happened. No, yeah. I think Sasha and Bailey were on NXT like once or something. Once, yeah. Sort of yeah. once, yeah. Yeah. So um, I could tell you what. Katie Catanzaro, tremendous athlete, but really needs to work on that finish because um, it looks oh, yeah. like uh, it looks just looks so dangerous. Yeah, it need to land on their face as well. Yeah, doors. pretty much. She she almost <laughs> like landed mm. feet first on um, Dakota Kai or Ricardo Gonzalez. I can't remember which one it was on yes. their face. Um, there's, there's, you there's, know, there's, I, jumps and just 
flips and just goes whatever. <laughs> it flips itself in another <laughs> direction. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna land one way or another. So <laughs> you know, it's gonna go one way, one yeah. or two ways, good or bad. We'll just see. <laughs> but uh, I like um, Katie Catanzaro, and she's not Lacey Lane anymore, is she? What's her name? Uh, Kaden Carter. Carter. Yes, Kaden Carter. Sorry, she was Lacey Lane before. Uh, she was mm-hmm. in the Mayon Classic as Lacey Lane. So, um, so we got Raquel Gon- Gonzalez and Dakota Kai, and who else have we got in the I women's? Huh? I think that was it for this week, wasn't it? For, for yeah, maybe. the next week we've got another match, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, I can't remember who it is. <laughs> yeah, for the life of me. No, I can't. But I, I see. Um, I definitely see Raquel and Dakota winning it. Hmm. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I sure. think. I mean, if they're if they're if they're taking on whoever the as you said, Finn, whoever the the tag champs are. I mean, on Raw they had a triple threat or a triple threat tag match, didn't they? Yeah. And it's Naomi and Lana <laughs> they're uh, going to face uh, Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler. So. Baser and Jacks win. I hope so. Yeah, yeah. Don't okay. want another thrown together team. Thrown together another pointless team. team. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Right, then so. we had the really co- we had the really cool segment with um. Oh, we had a great cruiserweight title match actually. Sorry, before we're going to the edge stuff. Oh, yeah. Um. Mm-hmm. With um Santos Escobar defending the uh, the cruiserweight championship. Um. Yeah. Against. Kurt, Kurt Stallion. Stallion. Great name, by the way. Yeah, it wasn't there. Great name. Um, yeah, so that, that was a good match. Really good. Uh, I like Kurt Stallion. This is really... Because I don't watch 205. So, um, although maybe I should. He's starting to look good again now. Mm. Yeah. That's one of the ones I keep meaning to jump back into. I just mm. keep getting <laughs> all the time. But Because uh, yeah, that's at the Capital Wrestling Center now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So I keep meaning to jump back in. I just never get a chance. Or forget. <laughs> yeah, same. But yeah, that was um, that was really good, and obviously they teased the match between uh, Karrion Cross and Santos Escobar, which Cross will definitely win, and then move right. on to Finn Balor, which he'll wrestle at WrestleMania. Great, good stuff. Happy yeah. with that. Cool. And by the way, the, um, um, the women's match for next week will be uh, the way uh, Kansas away and Jenny Harwell versus Ember Moon and Sacha Blackheart. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. Um, so that's for a place in the final. I see Ember Moon and Shotzi Blackheart winning there because they're the, they're like the face tag team. Yeah, yeah. I see that. So yeah, I don't I, I don't think you'll have the way and um, you know uh, Dakota and mm. Raquel Gonzalez. There'd be two heel teams fighting each other, which doesn't yeah. make any sense. So um, yeah, I th- I, plus Shotzi's fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah, she is great. She's oh, great. God. Uh, good segment. Um, Tony Storm wrestled this week, and then Mercedes Martinez came out of nowhere, beat her up, and mm. then them two just beat the crap out of each other until the champion Io Shirai turned up, uh, did a cool moonsault, flattened them both, and stood tall with the championship. And she will be defending that at NXT Takeover Vengeance Day against the two of them. So that's going to be good. I do think this is where Io Shirai loses the championship, though. Ooh, possibly, yeah. maybe. Did she go to the main Storm. roster after that? Yes. Hmm. Uh, yes. Or maybe after WrestleMania. I think she challenges again at WrestleMania. Yeah, I'll to see her having the match at Mania against someone. I think she will. I, th- I think both NXT championships are going to be defended at WrestleMania if uh, what I read earlier is to be believed. Yeah. Yeah. But I see Tony Storm winning the championship. Truly, I do. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Good. Good, yeah. 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 Absolutely I would like... That. I would like Oscar to beat Charlotte at WrestleMania and for her and Io Shirai to have a program for the Raw Women's Championship. Oh, yeah. That, that, is, that is pretty good. That yeah. is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. That would make you want to watch Raw. Definitely. Yeah, okay, it would, yeah. Yeah. That'd be really cool. Yeah. And then we have the really cool segment between Edge, Finn Balor, and Pete Dunne. Um, it's cool seeing Edge on NXT cool to give pete dunn such a you know like a big push-up and obviously endorsed finn balor to the moon as well um great segment you know isn't going to result in edge challenging for the nxt championship but it is what it is um but i'm really looking forward to pete dunn versus finn balor at uh, takeover next weekend yeah yeah same here yeah that'll be a That's great a, match yeah <laughs> so uh that was nxt so uh, quickly breeze through AEW. um Another great show again this week. Have you had, has anyone had a chance to see it? Steve, you watched the right episode? <laughs> yeah, it was the one where Sting came out. Like, who saw that coming? 
was that weeks ago, sorry. <laughs> no, I did watch it, and I have watched the correct one this week, because, uh, yeah, I double-checked. Yeah, uh, it was all right. It was a, it was a fine episode. Uh, battle Royal yep. started it off. Uh, that was to determine... It was a tag team battle royal to determine the number one contenders to the tag team titles, which will be defended at Revolution. Is that the next one? Yep. Yeah, so uh, MGF and Jericho won that. I don't know whether they'll take the belts off the Young Bucks just yet. Uh, I can see there being some... There's obviously discontent within the inner circle. So whether that plays into it in this tag match and the Young Bucks keep it. But there's also the Young Bucks are at odds with with uh, Good Brothers as well. So... Who mm. knows with that one? There's something, something uh, shenanigans could happen there. Um, really good match looking, between... Uh, sorry, go on. I think we're looking at the beginning of the end for the inner circle, perhaps. Or at least... Yes. Yeah. yeah. Or, or, or they keep going and MJF is the one that gets booted out. Because obviously, afterwards, there was sort of teasing dissension with mm. um, the inner circle, like within the inner circle. And then uh, Sammy Guevara stormed out. Jericho followed. Then MJF had Wardlow close the door so he could address the rest of the inner circle. So yeah. um, mm. I don't see MJF taking over the inner circle. I see him getting kicked out, if anything. But uh, I think what we'll get is a Sammy Guevara face turn out of this. Yeah, maybe um, yeah. What I really want is I want uh, LAX, you know, Santana and Ortiz. I want them to be the tag team. I want them to be the, the the focal point, you know, going for the tag team championships, not MJF and Jericho. And like you, I don't see them winning the titles. No. no. Yeah. yeah. An actual tag team. Great, yeah, look, great, great it, entertainment. Yeah. Really good. Oh, but... yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Um what else did we have? We had uh, Britt Baker versus Thunder Rosa, which I thought was a great match. Good match. Really, really good match. match. Yeah. I'm a big fan of Thunder Rosa. Match. Yeah, probably the best women's match I've seen on AEW. Um, Possibly. Uh, They've had some good ones, though, recently. I love yeah, Britt Baker. She's so good. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you two have yeah. frozen. No, I've not. There you go. You're back. You're back. Yeah, you had we're frozen back. We're all good. My end. <laughs> we're still here. We're still here, people. Um, yeah, great, great match. False finishes. Uh, it was good to see that it was it was given time as well. Yeah, was, loads of time. It was really long. It was good. Yeah, I think it was it was well over ten minutes that match. So uh, it was great. There's going to be a women's tournament as well. Uh, that's going to incorporate yeah. a lot of uh, Japanese female wrestlers. Sure. That's going to determine who challenges for the NXT women, NXT AEW yeah. women's title. That would be a crossover uh, as well. That would be a hell of a crossover. <laughs> the one thing that confused me <laughs> about that is obviously they, they announced the Japanese side and then they announced the American side and Riho was on the American Riho. side. Yeah. But I'm assuming that's because she's signed to AEW. Yeah. I believe so. Yeah. Cause the, 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 the other, the Japanese wrestlers are obviously from various Japanese companies. So yeah. yeah. Um, then we have the uh, Kip Sabian and uh, Penelope, as Booker T says, uh, Penelope <laughs> uh, wedding. <laughs> I could do without this sort of stuff. I know wrestling is all about the silly bollocks, but yeah, yeah, I could do without it as well. I, I didn't. I, I, I look. I think Miro is super entertaining. Truly, he I is. do. Uh, I like Kip Sabian, and I think Penelope Ford is lovely. Um, and it was cool to see Sinister Minister there as well, but. Um, <laughs> I thought the segment as a whole was a mess, but I don't like I don't like yeah. wedding segments. I don't think any of them have really been ever any good. No, um, and I think as well, you can look at it kind of two ways as well. So we've we've criticised AEW for bringing WWE into things far too mm -hmm. often. <laughs> again, Jim Ross was at it again this week. He said the line, uh, and that's the bottom line. As yep. someone once famously once said, it's like oh, just that leave one. it. Uh, yeah, I wonder who that was. Um, but some of the things that have come out. So this uh, this wedding segment, uh, what Miro was wearing was the same as what he wore on his wedding segment when he was Rusev in yeah. WWE. Yeah. So it was the same outfit. And then when he when he attacked that massive box as well, he was like, oh, I've been here before. I've seen that. And then he starts mm -hmm. fighting that box and there was nothing in it. Um, and it always ends in someone either getting a face full of cake or someone coming out of the cake and we had both because orange cassidy came out of the uh, came out of the cake and attacked uh attacked kip sabian yeah with the help of chuck 
So yeah. But it was uh, it, it was it, it served its purpose. But I could do without wedding segments. It was probably too long, and oh, um, it was definitely too long. The funniest bit was where the crowd was singing "What Is Love." That was funny. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was funny. That was. Funny. Uh, but uh, otherwise, yeah. I mean, I'm not a big fan of wedding segments anyway. But it, it, you know, and it is what it is. That's that's wrestling. You know, it is. Yeah. It's been happening for years and years, and will probably happen for years and years to come. Yeah, but... it's been done to death, but it has been done to death. Yeah, 100. percent It has. Um. Yeah, so that was that. Uh, we had a lumberjack match, Kingston versus Archer. Fine. Uh, didn't yeah. really think much to it, to be honest. No, same. I didn't either. Uh, and then the main event was Kenny Omega and the Good Brothers versus John Moxley, Pac, and Ray Phoenix. Talent. Just six great wrestlers on the show. Unbelievable. Fantastic. Yeah, really, Unbelievable. really good. Um, just. What you would expect from that song. Plenty of plenty of hard hits, plenty of flips, plenty of dives, all all the good stuff. Um Omega and the Good Brothers win. Uh, they carry on beating down Phoenix after the match, then Moxley gets beat up. Archer comes down and attacks Omega and the Good Brothers. Uh, yep. I guess that's uh, because he's had issue with them before. Yeah. And then uh, out of nowhere, Moxley gets attacked. And it's Kenta. Oh. Kenta, yeah. So uh, Kenta, formerly Hideo Itami, two hundred five mm-hmm. live jabber, and he was well, unfortunate. He was unfortunate in NXT, wasn't he? he? Had lots of injuries. yeah. He had really bad injuries, and I mean, it didn't work the way it should have done it because the guy is super talented. It just didn't work the way it should have. But no. hey, this the the. Uh, the, the bond has been made at New Japan Pro Wrestling and AEW working relationship. The possibilities are endless. And I just hope, I mean, this is great. So we're going to get, you know, Kenta and um, Moxley. You know, there's obviously a tag match next week with um, Moxley and someone. Is it Archer? I think it might be, yeah. Or, or no, it might be Ray Phoenix. I can't remember. Oh, Either way, and uh, it's going to be, and Kent is going to be involved as well with Kenny Omega. So that's going to be special. I mean, shit, holy, it's holy shit. It's awesome. Yeah. Uh, I hope that, that we get Okada in AEW at some point. Oh my god, just Okada versus Omega, and it would just be perfect. Be superb. Yeah, it'd be superb. So I believe I like Kenta is the uh, New Japan. Is he? Have I got this right? He's the New Japan's equivalent, like the Money in the Bank holder. Yeah, uh, and, and, that's what um, it is, and 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 he's the I, I, IWGP United Moxley's States champion. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why he was he was there, I guess. But now, now that you know this wall has been broken, I want to see Moxley with the IWGP United States Championship on TV. Me too. Yeah. Because obviously, yeah, that, you know, th- this is all building toward that. This is all building that feud. So that's what I, I want to see that now. Yeah. You know, I want to now that wall's been broken down, we can have more of this on TV. It's going to be the 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 possibilities are endless. And obviously, you've got the working relationship ongoing with Impact as well. Obviously, because the Good Brothers are there, and um, this is an incredible time to be a wrestling fan and AEW really making wrestling intriguing and exciting again. Um, you know, WWE will always be WWE. They'll always be, you know, the big show, yeah, but you know, a, but AEW now it's like, it's, it's just since AEW came along, wrestling's become a lot more interesting. Finn is so happy with himself with that big show reference, by the way. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, the possibilities now are, are endless. They really are. And it's super exciting. And I just cannot wait. I'm really looking forward to next week's Dynamite to see Kenta in action. Um, and it's weird because he, it just feels different now. I know we've seen Hideo Itami wrestle a million times in WWE on NXT and whatever. But now he's Kenta in his true form, you know, Bullet Club and all that sort of stuff. And now we get to see it on uh, America, you know, on on American pro wrestling. Yeah. I mean, like, like I say, there was with that, uh, with that six month tag, mm. three of those are, are former WWE employees. Does yeah. not feel yeah. like a WWE match when you watch it. Yes, Absolutely you've got, not. Yes. You've got the other three guys in there that obviously make that difference, but I didn't sit there thinking, Oh gosh, this is like, this is like going back five years when all these guys were in WWE. It felt like, an AEW match. They were AEW slash Impact guys 
and it felt different and that's exactly what you want because there's only so much WWE you can watch um Sometimes no, right. I wish I didn't have to watch the main roster and just watch yeah. NXT. Yeah. Uh, but SmackDown is good, so, you know, that's fine. But, yeah, it, AEW is good. I'm enjoying it. Like I said, it wasn't a classic uh, episode of Dynamite. There's a few few slow matches, a few bits I could have done without. But, overall, a, a, a good show and yeah. look forward to next week. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I totally agree. So, um, before we move on to SmackDown, the... Uh, cool news this week is that New Japan Pro Wrestling um, are going to be uh, bringing an hour show uh, to Roku TV to the Roku channel. Cool. Um, oh, cool. The Roku channel is, is you can if you just say the words Roku into your Sky Remote, it will bring up the Roku channel, and you'll be able to watch it for free. Awesome. That's good. Was yeah, it an hour? So, did you say? It's just an hour. Yeah, it's going to be starts February the 11th and it's going to be an hour every Thursday, which is great. So I'm super I'm really excited for that. It'd be cool to see. Uh, we actually get to watch a bit of New Japan uh, and in this country and hopefully, you know, we'll start to be able to follow that as well. Mm. Cool. Yeah. So, um yeah, moving on to Smackdown, not a lot really happened this week. Obviously, uh, the the main sec, you know, Roman Reigns came out to start the show and you know wanted edge to respect him and you know feels like he had been disrespected uh, okay that's fine but not really an awful lot else happened we had a good triple threat match for the ic title between yeah um biggie apollo cruz and Sami Zayn. biggie still the intercontinental champion as he will be for a, a while i would imagine oh yeah 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 um our edge Still didn't make a decision. He just came out and, yeah, you know, Kevin Owens came, hit the stunner on Reigns. So mm. we're going to get Kevin Owens versus Reigns in some capacity again. What I mm. think it might be, it might be Edge and Kevin Owens versus Reigns and Jay. Yeah, are they okay with that? I think I think we get that before we get Edge and Christian te- teaming up. Yeah, maybe something happens in the match. Maybe Kevin Owens is taken out or something. And then Christian comes down and helps... Edge in the match or something, something like that. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, Kevin Owens gets attacked backstage before and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, that yeah. could that could definitely happen. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. They should they should book you, Finn. Definitely. Yeah, they should, yeah, yeah. They should, or they yeah. should employ you to be a booker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, do it. I'm um, you know I'm great. <laughs> um, there was the the other the other cool segment was um you know Bianca Belair. And the, you know the tease in her going up against Sasha Banks potentially at WrestleMania, um, and she whipped the living shit out of Reg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she did. Did you um, did you see the bit where she did the the backstage interview before that, and they showed the video of her mum and dad celebrating? Oh no, I didn't see that. Get that? Yeah. <laughs> did you see that? Did you see that, Finn? No, I think I skipped it. So basically, they 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 showed. Uh, Bianca Belair's parents celebrating her winning the Royal Rumble and her dad is like standing on a table and celebrating. But then there's another bit where obviously they're, 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 whether they were live streaming it or just recording themselves because mm. they knew that she was going to win. Um, and he goes to climb back over the settee and the, and the settee falls back. <laughs> <laughs> and they showed that bit. They showed that bit and, and like Bianca Belair's laughing. I thought that was really cool. That really, really made me laugh. I'll have to try and find that. It's, it's yeah. really funny. That back, yeah. Yeah, that sounds um, absolutely awesome. But... Yeah, it was funny. So, I mean, I, I, I think we are going to get Sasha versus Bianca Belair at WrestleMania for the for the belt. Um, yeah. But, yeah, it was, it was a pretty much a... Um, a very much a um, we now need to start building for the next pay per view type show this week. Uh, yeah. Maybe it's quite a lot of filler in there, and then next week I think we'll start to see a bit more movement in terms of preparing for the elimination chamber. But mm. all in all, not a bad week of wrestling at all. No, no, it was good. A lot of it, but for the most part, it's good. Yeah, I yeah. didn't have a chance to catch up with Impact and MLW this week just because of the sheer amount of wrestling that there was because mm. of the Royal Rumble. But um, all in all, it wasn't it wasn't a bad week. At all, not by any stretch. No, happy no. days. Yeah, happy days. Right, so um, right, we've been recording. So you've 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 got a long one this week, fans. 
<laughs> an hour, an hour and said. fifty, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's been uh, another, it's been a blast recording again. Looking forward to recording next week and also doing the pre-show before the pre-show for NXT Takeover Vengeance Day. But for now, this has been episode one hundred and thirty of the Games and Grabs podcast. We are a weekly video game and wrestling podcast that posts on all podcast services everywhere, 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 and facebook.com forward slash games and graps and youtube.com forward slash games graps we will be back next week with more gaming and wrestling chatter but for now my name is sunny g i've been with finn Steele. goodbye and steve goodbye we are team games and graps and we'll see you next week take it easy guys goodbye thanks very much goodbye ciao for now doodles divas not sick. <laughs>